Nathaniel Dell out of Houston is a first-round talent. I'm convinced in the NFL he will have first-round production. This is the wide receiver, uh, to my eyes, Baltimore Ravens. Uh, given that I haven't watched a ton of wide receivers in the year's draft, uh, in some sense I don't need to. Just watching this guy, it doesn't matter to me what team he goes to, he's going to make an impact. Uh, I'm convinced by him. If he isn't the guy, he's certainly a guy. Uh, if I'm the Ravens, no problem at all taking him at 22. Uh, I did see him ranked on certain boards. I don't remember what, or a certain board. It might have been PFF as the 147th ranked player on their board. I don't. There's no way. There's no way I would agree with that. Nathaniel's everything Marquise Brown was and more, a lot more. Uh, if he is not the best route runner in this class, and, that, and it is possible that he isn't, as I haven't watched a lot of the top guys. Rest assured, he'll do until the best route runner comes around. He's uncoverable. He creates separation with ease. He creates separation consistently. A trio of Dell, Bateman, Mark Andrews, with the possibility of Lamar at QB would be something. Uh, in reality, Dell doesn't need a great quarterback. Uh, a varied room is not a necessity for him. Unless you get hands on him at the line, he's open. Houston will work uh, to get him matchups and get clean releases, but he is a weapon uh, down near the red zone and in the red zone, really all over the field. Watch him eat this defender up. Really does a great job of running up on the feet. Super explosive out of his breaks. Uh, stops on a dime. Very good salesman. You can see right there, he's thoroughly convinced this defensive back uh, about the outside release. Wide open. On film, he appears to have this great uh, upfield burst and explosion uh, off the ball. Watch how he's able to sell this vertical route, really uh, instill fear of the deep ball in the heart of the DB. He buys that post fake that he sells there. Not only that, how suddenly he stops his feet, drops his hips, and comes back to the football. He's a versatile receiver in that you can put him in the slot. You can run him outside as well. Uh, here's another example of him selling a vertical route. And it comes out of our screen a little bit. But he's always getting these immense <laughs> uh, bits of separation. Every time on film, he's just wide open. You can see this guy's turned and run, even though you don't see it in this particular clip. Doesn't matter to me where he goes almost, and it doesn't matter with whom he's playing. He's going to get open. He's a threat all over the field. Um, very good hands. Very, very uh, effective in the red zone. He doesn't get the football here, but we can see what he does to the defender. Kind of slow plays him, runs up on his feet a little bit, and then ultimately gets him to open up outside with that play fake. Just kind of distributes his weight that way and he's so fast out of these breaks we'll watch it at speed and again he doesn't get the football but look at that amount of separation he gets if the defense doesn't have help in guarding him over the top some kind of safety help they're going to be sorry uh that is if they can't get hands on him he's gone it's almost as if he's toying with these defenders at times just again in, uh, an immense amount of separation and ease of separation watch it again I think he's a high level route runner uh, he can eat up cushion when given cushion in a hurry he can beat you deep he can come back to the ball he has stop and start out of his breaks uh, he's got good hands. I love him down in the red zone. Um, this looks like a mismatch to start. Watch him do this little loop. Once he gets a defender to kind of open up one way, and this guy's not bad here, actually, but he's so explosive off this plant foot, it's a wrap. Not horrible coverage. Tracks the ball well, goes up and gets it. Good hands. He's running these routes at full speed. This is him out of the slot. 
Again, attacking the cushion of the defender. Right there, you've seen him turn all his energies, shoulders, helmets, whatnot, to the corner. And the defender opens up, and it's a wrap. There are plays on tape where he beats uh, both the corner and a deep safety or a middle of the field safety on the same play. Just makes them look foolish, turn and run the wrong direction. Does a good job here tracking the football too. Turns that corner to a post and then kind of bends it back, finds the football. In all likelihood, the knock on him will be his size. He's 5'10", 165. We'll see here on this play that he's not afraid of contact. He's also a guy that will come back to the football when the play breaks down and help out his receiver or help out his quarterback. That's a that's a valuable skill to find space in in a defense uh, and and hook up with your quarterback in any offense. But you can see that as being extremely valuable with a uh, Lamar Jackson led team. So he finds him across the middle. The last second, watch the hit he takes, goes up, skies for this football, and really takes a hit, but holds on to it. Watch it again. 